Welcome to the show, everybody. Joseph Robert, the fantasy football counselor. In this episode, I want to solve the debate for 2020 fantasy football. The debate that everybody talks about. The big question for 2020 fantasy football. When your draft is up, you got first overall pick. Who do you pick? And I've narrowed it down to two players that could potentially finish on top next year predicated on previous experience, talent, and a lot of variables. Those two are CMC and, of course, Saquon Barkley. Christian McCaffrey versus Saquon Barkley. Who are you taking first overall? I've taken to Instagram. I've got your answers. I've got my answer at the end of this video. I've looked at the data. I looked at the analytics. I'm going to tell you guys who I think is first overall pick for 2020 fantasy football. Let's get to the show. Welcome to the show, everybody. We're going CMC. We're going Saquon Barkley. We're going head to head to determine the winner on who the first overall pick is for 2020 fantasy football. Big episode, a lot of information here for you. Before I get into that, guys, in the comments below, your opinion matters, your vote matters. Really curious to hear who you are taking first overall. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be CMC or Saquon. I want to hear other opinions. There is other guys that could definitely crack that first pick, the guys that could finish on top this year. It could be anyone. It could be Zeke. It could be a wide receiver that could end up with the most points this 2020 fantasy football season. I want to hear your comments below. Leave them. Leave a comment. Smash thumbs up. And of course, guys, make sure you guys are subscribed to the number one fantasy football podcast right here. And, of course, get the 16-round draft solution so you guys have an optimal draft this 2020 fantasy football season. It's going to be an exciting season full of a lot of uncertainty, as usual. And I clear that up in the 16-round draft solution the best I can so make sure that you guys have an optimal roster. First ever video training, link below, or head on over to thefantasyfootballcouncil.com if you're listening in the car. All right, so Saquon versus CMC. I've got this show laid out. I'm looking at stats. I'm looking at talent, ability. I'm looking at your opinions as well. I'm going to give you guys my opinion here at the end of this video on who I like first overall as of right now. Now, this was recorded at the end of March 2020. Things are probably going to change. My mood changes predicate on things and moves that happen. Now, one thing that did annoy me, there is some annoyances in regards to both players potentially declining and having volume taken away from them that I don't like. First and foremost, let's start off with Saquon Barkley. As of recent, Deion Lewis signed on to a one-year deal. Now, I'm going to get a little heated here. You know fantasy above all. You know I get irritated with pests throughout the years. We've had the Danny Woodheads throughout the years. We've had other pests uh, that, that come in and take volume away, the Tariq Cohens of the world. And I am beyond annoyed. I want to express my frustration here to you guys because I was all in on Derrick Henry last year. I was one of the only guys that had Derrick Henry ranked higher than everybody else. I was all in. I was the guy that said, draft Derrick Henry. And I knew Deion Lewis was there and I knew he'd be a pest. But the thing is, I still believed in Derrick Henry. And I'm still not going to let it cloud my judgment too much. I am annoyed. I, I, you can see it in my eyes. Deion Lewis is going to be a pest. He's going to annoy Saquon Barkley. It didn't really affect Derrick Henry that smart because the Titans are smart. Hopefully the Giants aren't stupid and play Deion Lewis and take away volume from Saquon Barkley. So that's a knock against Saquon. Now a knock to CMC. Let's start going right into the facts here. A knock to CMC. Right, and there's more knocks to Saquon Barkley. We'll go back. I know the O-line needs improving. I understand that. This is pre-NFL draft when I'm recording this, okay? CMC, the knock right now is they've acquired Robbie Anderson. And I stated this. I said, listen... The Panthers are going to want to throw the ball more. Yes, they will. Now, they've got P.J. Walker, who was acquired from the XFL. They've got Teddy Bridgewater. Listen, I've looked at the facts here. Teddy Bridgewater doesn't really throw a lot to running backs. We saw it. I looked at it because he played week two to seven with the Saints. In those week two to seven, he had a bunch of games where he didn't throw it to Kamara much. Week two, he threw it three targets to Kamara. Week four, three, tar uh, week four, three targets to Kamara. Now, week six, he threw it eight times, eight targets to Kamara. Uh, week three through it 10 times. So there's a lot of volatility. So now, guys, with the suspect quarterback situation and the chemistry with CMC, I question CMC finishing on top again. 
this year. So that is a concern to me when you are looking at drafting CMC. That is something you got to look at, right? They've got, they're going to start implementing wide receivers. They've got Anderson, who's going to spread the offense. And I know you're saying, well, now they've got wide receivers, more room for CMC to run. Yes. But understand, guys, they're going to want to use those wide receivers. They, they just have to. Now, let's look at the stats last year. CMC, 116 receptions for 1,005 receiving yards, four receiving touchdowns. That is insane. That is insane. Now, when you look at that, that's a very high pinnacle, okay? I want to express that to you. Now, if you look at Priest Holmes, he's the only guy, he's the only running back that went two years in a row finishing on top in fantasy points. So that's a knock against CMC. Now, again, CMC, amazing year. Is he going to drop from the 471 PPR fantasy points? Yes, he will. There's no doubt about it. Now, Tim the Bald Guy, my co-host, was saying, okay, well, what if he drops only 50 points? I still get 400 points. Yes, that's true. But when I look at a first overall pick, my goal is to make sure that that person finishes first overall. And I think the ceiling for Saquon's a little bit higher. Again, the Deion Lewis factor is a bit of a concern, something to be aware of. You also got to look at the O-line as well. Are they going to improve it? Is there going to be better pass protection? Is Daniel Jones going to get more integrated? And that's what I do like. I do like the chemistry with Daniel Jones and Saquon. There is a little bit of rapport there. Now, comparing them again last year, Saquon finished 10th amongst running backs in PPR. Saquon was first. Saquon still in only 13 games with a bad O-line. And again, Daniel Jones still getting integrated, learning the offense, still managed to have a 1,003 rushing yard season. Not bad, 73 targets, 53 receptions, not the most exciting thing, and 213 attempts. That can only go up, finishing 10th last year. Again, with all of those things working against him, he can only go up, but is he gonna go up to first overall pick? That is my question mark as well. If you go back in 2018, Saquon actually finished with more fantasy points, not much more, 385.8 compared to 385.5 to CMC. CMC is like, you know, almost bulletproof when it comes to fantasy football right now. And when I, and when I look at that, I look at and I question it. I say, okay, two good years, Cinderella years. I mean, it's time. He is due for a recession. You know, what goes up must come down. So I'm going to give you guys my opinion, but I'm going to take the social. I'm pulling out my phone here because I actually ended up doing a post on Insta. If you aren't following me on Insta, make sure you guys click on my website and there's a link to all my social media on my website at thefantasyfootballcouncil.com. So I'm going to answer a couple of your questions, guys, right now and get your feedback because I want to hear what you guys have to say and shout some of you guys out because I think it's only fair that you guys voice your opinion, okay? So let's get to social media. And again, make sure you guys are following at Fantasy Football Counselor on Insta. I'm going to be doing more of these interactive sessions with you guys and shouting some of you guys out. So there's a ton of people that replied back. I want to hear you guys. So, miss, and I asked, who do you like better, first of all, Saquon or CMC? And you guys gave me your opinion and why. But I also want to, again, disclaimer here, okay? This may change. I may think that Zeke may be a first overall pick. This is how I feel right now. I think one of these guys should be drafted first overall. Again, I may change my mind. So, this guy at Bro Best, Bro Bizon 07, Bro Bizon 07. I hope I pronounced that right. Saquon. He chooses Saquon. Saquon. He put up great fantasy numbers while missing few games last year. As we said, guys, 13 games, still over a thousand rushing yards. That's his reason. So I guess he's saying on ceiling he's going Saquon. Uh, Peyton underscore more zero zero says. CMC, Giants are dumb for spending money on Dion Lewis. So CMC because Giants equal committee and CMC equals minimal committee. Again, you know, it didn't affect, uh, what's his name, Titans last year, right? It didn't affect uh, Derrick Henry. I can't think I'm reading, I'm multitasking here. It didn't affect Derrick Henry. So I'm thinking hopefully it's the same scenario where it doesn't affect him. I'm really hoping that that's what happens, but it may affect him. That's my concern. Uh, Fantasy Football Cowboy says, uh, let me just see what he's saying. It's a big response. He goes, neither. But if I had to choose, I would say CMC because New York has a terrible O-line that will not protect Saquon. Again, we talked about this Fantasy Football Cowboy. We said that, you know, we got to see what happens after the draft because if they draft well, if they beef up that O-line and they need a wide receiver, right? They have no wide receivers to spread the offense. So, 
yeah, on paper right now, CMC looks a lot better. Uh, who else we got? We got Hector uh, Mejia, 561, says, Saquon only has room to go up from last year. Okay, so we got another Saquon. Uh, we got Jay Kiesner, 56. He goes, what goes up must come down from CMC. Saquon got a better, uh, got a better O-line. So, okay, um, not really, but Sa I guess Saquon could have a better O-line, potentially. Uh, you guys, you know, some people reply back when they don't put too much detail in it. I'm, I'm literally, guys, I didn't check these before I was going through. I'm literally going on the fly here uh, with these responses, literally. So I'm going to take a look at a couple more. There's a ton. Ben Friedman 28 says CMC. Got a couple spammers here. Austin Griffin says CMC is a clear cut. Three down workhorse. The Giants just added Dion Lewis. Again, the same type of debate, and I can go on. CMC Saquon, uh, Mr. Monroy 11 says Saquon, but doesn't give a reason. I think I may have said that. So again, we have a mixed bag here. We are saying Saquon, we're going CMC. It is a mixed bag. And as of right now, I'm gonna give, weigh in my opinion as of right now, okay? So the way it sits right now is the at the end of March and things may change, the edge has to go to CMC. Again, the only knocks to him are right now. What goes up must come down. And again, is if he goes down, how much down is he going, right? We got Robbie Anderson. We got a new quarterback. A little suspect. So the new quarterback works against them, the wide receiver. I say works against them because they're going to want to be fed. You know, P.J. Walker out of the XFL, he's saying he wants to start. He's ready to go as a backup, but he wants that starting position. And man, if you watch some XFL games, he looked dynamic. And he likes to throw his to his receivers. He was throwing to Cam Phillips. And man, were those some pretty plays. So if you look at that, if P.J. Walker ends up getting the start midseason, he runs the ball. So if he runs the ball, that's going to take away volume from CMC. So... As it sits right now, not integrating all of these variables, but possibly the hypotheticals, CMC gets the edge. But if all the var variables kick in, and let's say Saquon gets a better O-line, he's already got the chemistry with Daniel Jones. He's a, I think he's physically more a better athlete. I really genuinely do. I think the ceiling is higher. What goes up must come down. So he's got a higher ceiling. CMC comes down, Saquon goes up, they level off. Saquon, Saquon takes the lead there. You know, if I had to choose right now, I'm going to go Saquon Barkley. I got to see what think, what happens after the draft. Understand, guys, we kind of know the running back situation also with Saquon right now. We know what's happening. We understand that Deion Lewis is going to be there. We know what type of committee it could potentially be. We know that Deion Lewis didn't do anything with the Titans last year, right? So we kind of have that situation. With CMC, they could draft another running back. They very well could. They could draft an ace wide receiver. They could start throwing it more. Too many suspect situations with the wide receiver. So again, I'm kind of analyzing this as we talk. And again, the verdict for me is Saquon Barkley ahead of CMC first overall. Again, it's a tough decision. And again, David Johnson could come out and tear it up for the Houston Texans and have a 2016 season again. DeAndre Hopkins could tear it up with Kyler Murray and be the top producer next year. Zeke Elliott could start coming in and producing. We don't know. That's the bottom line. We don't know. As of right now, pre-NFL draft, I'm going with Saquon Barkley. First overall pick for 2020 fantasy football. That is my way in. Again, it's 50-50 on this. Leave a comment below, guys. And again, I don't want to sway you a certain way, but understand, guys, the last time a running back finished two years in a row on top, and when I draft a running back first overall, I expect them to finish first overall amongst running backs. The last time a running back finished first overall was Priest Holmes 2002-2003. So, guys, it's very, very rare. Things change. It's no way but down for CMC, but how down will he go? Leave a comment below, guys. Smash the thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed. That is my analysis. There's a ton of information here. Use it to your best of ability. And make sure you make the right decision throughout your entire draft using the 16 round draft solution. There's a link below or head on over to the fantasyfootballcouncil.com under programs and get 16 rounds. It's more than just the first overall pick guys. It's an entire strategy and I've got the entire fantasy football draft strategy for you guys there. All right guys, subscribe, thumbs up, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video.